Hi, and welcome back to Two Minutes with the VA. Today we have a question from Kathy, and Kathy wants to know, um, she has a bookkeeping question, she's using QuickBooks, and she's wondering what the proper way is to book a deposit. Um, Kathy, there are several different ways to do it. If you're looking for the absolute correct way, uh, you should set up an item um, in your QuickBooks invoicing that points to customer deposit account, which will be an other liability account. Um, and there's a great, I've seen it somewhere, there's a great e-how on how to do this. I'll send it to you. Um, I'll put a link to it at the bottom if I can find it. Uh, basically, you're going to use that account to post to, and then you're going to take it out of. That way it'll show, you know, as a liability to your company, because you're still going to owe that customer um, those funds or, or work for those funds. Uh, some people just, you know, bill it and, and do it by hand each month. If you have a client that goes over every single month, I don't know that I would mess with the liability account, to be completely honest. Um, but that's up to you, and that, that's something that only you can decide. Uh, QuickBooks offers a lot of different ways to do that. Um, you know, that's the way to set it up within QuickBooks. Um, but you can also just, you know, use your own way of doing things. Uh, I know somebody that, uh, one of my clients actually, they set it up, they make an invoice, and then they pay the invoice, and they delete the invoice. So there's actually a credit sitting on the customer's account. Not exactly the right way to do it, but, you know, it works for them. So there you go. Uh, I hope to hear from you again, Kathy. Thanks. Bye.